Honest Trailers finally doing Pearl Harbor. This is going to be good. Man, I remember watching this movie back in the day. It was awesome. I thought it was awesome. This was before we knew how, before Michael Bay turned out to be Michael Bay. Because we were learning, it was before all the social media and shit, I think. Yeah, I was in high school, so I think so, yeah. We didn't know how bad Michael Bay would become. But hey, this movie is a guilty pleasure of mine. So I still enjoy it just for the bad acting of, from Ben Affleck and everyone else. And the overacting from Cuba Gooding Jr. when he just shoots down the Japanese plane. That's a hilarious scene. But other than that, it's pretty cool. It's still good to watch even today, but it's mostly for a guilty pleasure. Anyways, let's start this shit. I have no idea how they do that. Before he cashes in on the tragic loss of American lives in his Benghazi movie, revisit Michael Bay's attempt to cash in on the loss of even more American lives in Pearl Harbor. You think you know the real story of what happened when the Japanese no, attacked that fateful Michael day, Bay just but changed you have up. no idea that it was actually just a backdrop to a stupid, campy, made-up love triangle. Yeah, that's it's stupid nice. shit. <laughs> And a bunch of wacky slapstick comedy. The sexy tears. <laughs> this is Batman, <laughs> folks. Military aircraft. So. It hurts some fears. <laughs> yeah, of course it hurts. Meet Rafe McCauley, a fighter pilot with a terrible southern accent. I'm a fail. I'm going to take my it's wife. Ben Affleck. Falls in back with Kate in the day. He just didn't and give a shit. And Danny, a fighter pilot with a terrible southern accent. It's not training over there. It's war. Who also falls in love with Kate Beckinsale. What the fuck happened to George Hartnett? He disappeared. He gets in the way of their fictional relationship. These two good old boys will take to the skies and single-handedly drive the Japanese out of Pearl Harbor. I got you, son of a bitch. You know they were like actual war heroes who did that, right? Yeah. Experience a Michael Bay fan fiction version of history that's more American than two American. soldiers donating blood into a Coke bottle where all the men were noble patriots. I'm not anxious to die, sir. Just anxious to matter. There's nothing strong. The writing in this shit is horrible, horrible but I still like it. Naughty nurses. Oh, the naughty oh, nurses. Giggling, motherfucker. Would you happen to have any friends? Take your pick. And not even polio could stop the president from getting us some sweet, sweet revenge. Oh, John Voight is a oh, yeah. badass motherfucker. USA! USA! Go, John Voight! Hot on the heels of Titanic. Why the fuck did you do Baby Geniuses? And two and three. To recreate the magic did you owe someone money? Profits of that far better movie, but with way more explosions. Come on, man, you're a midnight cowboy, so man. Really cool. You'll almost forgive the rest of the movie for being so terrible. Oh, man, here we go. Boom! <laughs> Oh, wait, sorry. Wrong team. We're supposed to be not Kevin rooting Michael for Bay. this. Why'd you make that look so cool? So it's Michael Bay. It for a three-hour, $140 million film that cost as much to make as the actual rebuilding of Pearl Harbor, lasts a full hour longer than the actual attack, managed to offend both U.S. and Japanese veterans, and most tragically of Michael all, Bay likes to offend everybody. A Michael Bay movie, its first and only Oscar win. What? New sound design. You are just... I so forgot all of that. So... I simply forgot about that. Starring a daredevil pilot, Black Dare Hawk Dub, Kate Beckin Sailors, Help Me, Help this You, S.A., <laughs> and Racist Porky Pig. This <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> to, 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 today, Junior. And not starring these actual heroes of that day. Kenneth Taylor and George Welsh, two actual pilot buddies who shot down six Japanese aircraft during the attack. Nice. Annie Fox, the first woman to win the Purple Heart. Good job. Allison Dean Darrow, an actual serviceman and nurse who fell in love and got These married. These are the real heroes. At Pearl Harbor, and literally anyone else who was at Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Except for Cuba Gooding Jr.'s character. He was also Bora Bora Bora. You guys know it's only a matter of time before Michael Bay gets his hands on 9-11, right? Oh! Shit just got real. Oh, 
Oh my god, Michael Bay directing the 9 11 movie. That's gonna be more on his trailers. That, oh my god, that's Smoking. gonna be horrible. This is not Knob, this is Boeing. You ever seen United 93? Hi. That did it well. Flight 913 did it well. Care what you think. World Trade Center started Nicholas Cage was sort of waiting in the sky. He'd like to but they did it sort of respectfully. Blow our minds. Especially in 1933, the independent film. But I can't trace time. Which they kind of did like a whole uh, the stars look very conspiracy ending today. at towards the end. I'm just saying, spoiler alert. They did a conspiracy ending at the end. You go see it. It's either United Nights 3 or Flight Nights 3. Because like, which one's the one? Because we know what really happened. Like the one that went down to the Pentagon. Which one was the movie where they like ended it like where the plane was going down and it just ends like that? And then there's the other one where it just ends in a conspiracy theory. Someone's saying, like, spoilers, dude, but no, come on, dude, it, it happened in real life. It's like that movie, Biggie Smalls, too, no, wait, Notorious, when I went to go see it a long time ago. And I came out and I was talking to people about it. I was like, yeah, it sucks that he died back in 90-something, I forgot what year. It's kind of sad, though, because, like, I, I, was, I was in school when that happened. But, no, like, then some other guy comes along and he's like, Man, dude, did you have to spoil it for me? And I worked with him and he's the same age as me. And I'm looking at him and I was like, You're the same age as me. We went through the same shit during, I don't know, we, I wasn't there with you. But it was in the same news during my time and your time. How the fuck do you not notice? It's that kind of shit. But yeah, Pearl Harbor, dang. And Michael Bay, he can get me pissed off at certain times, especially with the... Transformers movies and Turtles movies. My God, I was so pissed off when he did the Turtles. Uh, the trailer to the Turtles 2 movie, that just pissed me off. Like I said, it's Michael Bay, but honestly, I'm looking forward to the Bad Boys 3 and 4 because that's mostly like shoot 'em up action. So you, there's really no story there if you think about it. But other than that, if Michael Bay does 9-11 movie, that's, wow. What horrible shit is he gonna produce? Oh God, my God. I can just imagine. Wow. Anyways, take it easy, humanoid nation. Humanoid freak out. Bye. Vivir así.